Hello everyone, my name is Matiana and I am back with another video. So in this video, I would like to share um, how I almost got scammed by a hair transplant clinic. If you're new to my channel, I recently got a hair transplant done and I have already made so many videos about it and I already did the one month update. So all those videos will be in the link down below. Many people like to ask me how much I paid for it. I also made a video on that. I will link some of those um, I will link some of those videos in the description box box below and I'll also link some of them in the i cards here as the video is playing before I decided to go get a hair transplant because hair transplant is such an invasive procedure you have to make sure you find the right doctor it took me like years to find the doctor that actually did my procedure which I'm actually like really really happy with but before that I did the I did all the research I could do online and then decided to then go out and start talking to doctors. I decided to start in my city and then if I can't find anything in my city and go outside the city and outside the state. The great thing about me doing my research online is I already had some, I already had like somewhat of a knowledge. So when I went out there into the world and trying to find a doctor, I was able to easily spot people that were trying to scam me so I can give you some tips so you can kind of you know some red flags because if somebody is gonna scam you you are going to see a lot of red flags before the scam It's not just you're not just gonna wake up and then be scammed there's like always red flags and you have to learn to listen to those red flags you have to kind of follow your intuition this particular place that I went in my city I first call them once i called them a lady picked up the phone i guess i was like the receptionist and the first thing i asked her do you do black people's hair and she wasn't answering she was pretending like she doesn't know what a black person name is i said do you do black people hair people of african descent uh with kinky curly like really coarse kinky coily hair and she proceeded by said um i don't know I guess we do black people's hair blah 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 and then after that I'm like okay that's already a red flag because if you work for this company and if you did black people hair you would know it's not gonna be um I guess we did black people's hair so she took my information and after that she had uh, I still decided to go on with the appointment because I wanted to see what this about and it was gonna be a free consultation anyway so why not she took my information down and then after that a couple of days before the appointment a guy called me and then I didn't pick up he left a message and he did say yeah we do do african-american hair that's what the message said so I go in there and uh, I meet the guy and the guy was supposed to be a still representative um, number one, I, I thought I was going to be having a consultation with the actual doctor that will be doing the procedure. If, I, if you're going to do my hair, I want you to do the consultation. I want you to talk to me because you will be the doctor doing my procedure. But however, it was uh, somebody else. He wasn't going to do it. He was going to actually talk to the customer. And then maybe some random doctor that I never met would then do my procedure. So that was a red flag number two. I get there, um, we started talking and uh, I showed him my hairline. Uh, one of the things I made sure not to do is I don't give the people a lot of information. So one thing I did not do, I did not tell him that I was diagnosed with traction alopecia. Because if you're a hair clinic, you do hair transplant, you should be familiar with all type of hair loss. But this man did not recognize my pattern of baldness as traction alopecia. So which is sign number three that you probably never worked on a black woman because this is very common among black women. And if you have worked, if you do do black women's hair, it will be like a no brainer. Instantly you will recognize it was traction alopecia. He actually thought this pattern of baldness that I have will eventually turn into male pattern baldness. So that was red flags. Where am I? Red flag number three. I'm counting the red flags and I'm making note of that. 
And then he proceeded by telling me that the surgeons are not comfortable going doing the sides. So when you say you're not comfortable doing the sides, I know that's a red flag number four because traction alopecia usually it affects the whole front area like this like your face area that I have so if your doctors are not comfortable doing the side I mean they only used to doing the male pattern baldness which tells me that you do not have experience with black women's hair Hair. We kept talking and because I guess they couldn't do the surgery on me because the doctors there are not used to doing the side He decided to sell me on the PRP. The PRP is actually I think they take your blood and then they spin it in the machine And then they take the plasma and they re-inject that into your scalp to help the hair growth I didn't tell him that I have irreversible traction alopecia. But I asked him if you inject this scalp, is hair going to grow where I have no hair because clearly I want hair. That's why I'm at a hair clinic. He could not answer that question. All what he told me is one thing he knows for sure is the thin hair that I have, the fuzzy hair that I have, they will get fat with the PRP. But he could not tell me that new hair will actually grow where I had no hair. To me, that was five. I'm at five. If I'm wrong counting it, I'll start counting it the proper way on the side right here. So we are at five. And then the next thing is that I asked him how much the price is going to be. And he said the price is going to be uh, $6,000. Oh, $6,000. So as soon as I asked for the price, he completely forgot talking about the hair and he instantly jumped and said oh if I have two form of ID I can get approved today and then within two days we can start I'm like hold up number one six thousand dollars that's a lot of money you have to let you know if you're a legit company you're doing a legit thing you have to know that I mean that's not money that somebody can come up with even if they get approved I need time to think about it I need time to know that this is actually an investment that I'm willing to do so if you want me to kind of jump and go ahead and do it right away um, that mean it to me it sounded like a scam because by the time I realized it was a scam my money's already gone so there's no turning back so that's why you wanted to get me as soon as you could so that's six and then moving on to seven he cannot show me any pictures of any black woman as long as they've been in business there was no before or after picture of not one single black woman that they have ever worked on that has success there was no picture all the pictures that were out there was bald-headed white men with uh with male pattern baldness no black woman ever. The only black woman that he could show me was from this pen plates right here. Right there. But that's not their client. That's just, I guess, a model that they used and did it. And I don't even know if that's a, that's a true story because now you can Photoshop everything. And I also wanted contacts of like a clients of them who I could talk to to tell me that they actually did it and it worked and there was no proof of that so you know all my red I was like silently taking you know notes of it one of the last straw for me was we were having a conversation and I guess he tried to see why I really wants to get the hair done and I said uh, perhaps maybe if I'm able to get my hair done I can go back to wearing my hairstyle and he asked me which hairstyle is that and then I say it's wearing all my hair pulled back um, and the doctor proceeded by asking me, the guy he wasn't a doctor he proceeded by asking me he said how are you gonna do that are you gonna relax your hair to do that when you ask me that question that's another proof that you do not have experience with afro hair and you do not know anything about afro hair because in his mind and his thought the only way that you could pull afro hair back is if it's relaxed 
chemically so that was the red flag there are so many things that this man did and i was just picking up and i'm like wow this man is literally going to sit here and uh scam me and going back to the prp he said the procedure will last a whole year it will take a year to see results and it's going to be like six thousand dollars and i'm going to be getting laser he tried to sell me on that laser thing blah 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 to try to make it seem like the six thousand dollar is worth it but upon doing more researches apparently it doesn't cost that much actually the prp from what i've seen and heard it's actually less like even a whole year of treatment i should not be paying six thousand dollars i should be paying like half of that or uh one third of that but not the full six thousand dollars so i did realize that actually this man was trying to overcharge me so those are the things that i was able to pick up on and made note of it and after that when i went home this man kept calling my phone and i had to stop picking it up and I, one of the things that i noticed this man was wearing a toupee it's like some type of unit that they do it's like a skin like material where they put human hair on it and then you wear it as if it was your own hair but if you're going to sell me on the prp to promise me that my hair is going to grow i mean it should have worked for you you should have been able to tell me that you did get the prp and it did work for you and i forgot to mention the prp thing for plasma rich plasma this is the pinpoint they give me right here plasma rich plasma so you're wearing a toupee so apparently nothing that you guys do in this clinic has helped you that's why you had to wear a toupee so why would i waste my money and my time to come to you and get my hair done so i just wanted to put this out here i wanted to warn you guys out there that are thinking about getting a hair transplant there is these clinics that have no experience with your hair if you have like black african hair like i do try to find a doctor or a clinic that actually have the experience with doing afro texture hair a lot of people would tell you they know how to do it just because they want the business but they don't know how to do it and at the end of it all you're the one who's gonna end up losing everything and one of the things that I want to talk about it but I think I'll do it in a different um, video if I do get a lot of requests for it there is hair transplant and not all the hair transplant technique work for everyone there's a technique the technique that I I got done is called the hue which is a high yield unit extraction and apparently there is another technique called the other technique is the FUE which is the follicular unit extraction I have done also a lot of research on it but this video is going to be way too long if I want to talk about the difference between those two and the best type for black hair and why it is the best type for black hair. I know a lot of people have tendency to say hair is just hair but not everything works for all type of hair. So let me know down below if you want to see that video. I have done so much research on it but there's no way I'm going to be able to put it in here but I want the information to come out. I want people to be aware of the difference and to be able to choose the appropriate technique for them. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. Comment down below. Leave all the questions down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video.